Hello students, we're gonna make a hot dog and a cool cat. By making them, not only do we make cute creatures, we're gonna learn about warm and cool colors. So to start, we're going to draw a straight or maybe even wobbly line that comes up from the bottom. Make a pointy ear, go across, make another pointy ear and down. For a dog, we wanna do a very wide upside down U then the upside down U has two little upturns for the ears. Your straight lines for the dog body come down from there. You're gonna have a sheet that helps you decide on what facial expressions you want your cat or dog to have. One good way to make cat eyes is with a upper and lower U to make a football shape with a circle in the middle. That's kind of a cat eye shape and you can reference your sheet but to make an upside down triangle you draw a straight line first and then two tilting lines underneath for an upside down triangle nose and my cat has two u's for a smile and you can use whisker dots that show the place in the fur where the whiskers come out and you can use whiskers so a dog might have a different facial expression i drew a big circle for my dog muzzle which is the mouth nose part. I drew an oval nose and I drew those two U's for the mouth. My dog has a little bit different facial expression. Now time for color. So our hot dog is gonna have the warm color family. That involves red and lots of little hairs for my dog. Your dog can have short hair or long hair. All these lines make beautiful texture. I'm gonna add some orange to my dog. That's another warm color family member. I'm gonna add yellow to my hot dog. That's another fiery warm color. And I added cool colors for my cat. Green, blue, purple. Now look, you can use a watery brush slushed in a warm color to add a solid color to your dog. You can rinse your brush in between and use that watery brush to add a light wash of cool colored or more to your cat. Remember, hot dog with your warm colors and cool cat with your cool colors. Enjoy. So go to your seat and write your name small in the corner of your paper. When you're ready, flip it over and hold on to your pencil so we can draw together. We'll pause right now until we see everybody ready with pencil in hand. All right, start with one line that goes up, makes a point, and then comes down. Again, that's a line up from the bottom, up and down, across, up and down for the kitty head. The next thing you're going to do is a big upside down U shape. It's really big and wide so it can get the whole doggy in its ears. Hook up on the left and hook up on the right. Then do a line down from the tips of those lines for your dog body. Here's the dog again. A big upside down U. And then swoop up for a hook and swoop up for another hook. Those make the ears. And then do lines coming down from those tips for your dog body. Your animals can be different sizes. If you wanna follow my grumpy face, make a straight line across for the brow and two bumps underneath. You can also be choosing a different face from your sheet. A line across for the nose and then two down to make a triangle and two U-shapes make a cat mouth, or if you want it to be a little bit grumpier, you can erase that shape and make sure those lines stay going down. Downward eyebrows make him look extra grumpy. All right, here's a dog face you can copy. Make a circle eye left and right little dots inside and his eyebrows maybe you're going up into a worried face 
dog just has a round nose. And then for his muzzle, we start at the tip of the nose and zigzag around into a circle, coming around the other side. For this doggy, we're gonna do a nice U to the left and a U to the right for his happy smile. Once you love your drawings and their faces, you will take a Sharpie and trace over all of your lines. You can see this is what a Sharpie looks like when it's drying out. Get a new Sharpie if you want. Slow Sharpieing makes thick, black, bold lines. So be sure and trace very slow. Next step is your warm colors for your dog. Taking your time to make lots of little hairs. And cool fur for your cat. the watercolor and to be really finished you can do the background. <laughs> 